my name is Martin, Martin Ribari. I'm a lecturer in law at Royal Holloway, University of London. My background is in philosophy, classics, Hebrew, legal history, digital humanities, and currently I conduct uh, some research in legal reasoning, working with uh, computational methods, especially on, especially related to Roman, Roman law. And uh, most recently, some some project related to ChatGPT, which is uh, uh, in the in the news these days, uh, and computational modeling of uh, of legal rules. Hi, um, I'm Mandy Wigdorovitz, and I recently completed my PhD at the University of Cambridge. Um, I did a PhD in theoretical and applied linguistics. Um, and before that, I did a master's in research psychology at the University of the Witwatersrand in South Africa. So I'm originally from South Africa as well, and I do a lot of research um, in that population, the South African population, a lot of language research, um, mostly psycholinguistics and sociolinguistics, um, as well as like language profiling and getting a sense of how people communicate and are affected by language use and exposure within their specific contexts um, that they've grown up in or that they are currently exposed to. So I'm currently um, based in the US, but I'm gonna be going back to Cambridge. Um, I'm starting a position as Open Research Community Manager um, pretty soon. I'm gonna be based in the University of Cambridge and yeah, and I'm gonna be working with groups from South Africa, the UK, and hopefully more people around the world. So uh, my name is Martina, Martina Astrid Rodda. I use they them pronouns. Uh, I am currently based in Oxford at Merton College where I have a postdoctoral position. And I've been in Oxford for my PhD. I've been here for a while. I, I used to be, a, I mean, I, I was never a real computational linguist, but my PhD was a, a computational linguistic approach to issues with the Homeric language. So the, the Odyssey, orality, formulary, that sort of stuff. So I'm a, I'm a classicist by sort of, so my history is as a classicist, and then I sort of moved towards more computational stuff. And now I'm back to doing sort of quote unquote traditional classics, even though that's not really what I do, but, but my postdoc is on representations of disability in Imperial Greek literature. So the common denominator here is Greek literature. Uh, my name is Amanda Swanson. I am a second year PhD student at the University of Maryland um, in the iSchool, the College of Information Studies. And uh, so I'm based in the College Park area of Maryland, which is just north of uh, Washington, D.C. My background um, is in anthropology and museum studies. I worked at the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History for a little bit doing research there. I worked at the School for Advanced Research also with their um, there's a collection there. I had held various other museum jobs and um, my master's was from the University of British Columbia in anthropology there. I've been a copy editor of Joe, I think about uh, two years. I also do some editor editing job uh, for, for the journal. I think I'm the most prolific of copy editors as of today, uh, clogged up uh, two digits uh, of, of manuscripts. Uh, I'm very happy to let uh, others uh, to, to get to catch up. So since I basically finished my first degree in like 2013, 2014, I started copy editing and proofreading a lot of um, work. And then I've copy edited for Joad since 2020. So I, I was one of the first volunteers um, to work on in the Joad team with Barbara McGillivray as the editor in chief when she took over. I met her actually at Cambridge and then we started a relationship and I was really interested in open um, data sharing and the open research practices in general. So I started as a copy editor in 2020 and along with being a copy editor, I was also um, an editorial assistant, which I was later then promoted to associate editor. So I'm currently an associate editor and copy editor for Jode. And uh, yeah, so I've been working for Jode, is it like three years now? It feels like I've been sort of copy editing for Jode for like since since Jode started which is probably not actually true and uh, and I've been I've been working as a copy editor on and off essentially for all of my professional life 
since I was a master's student, I've been doing little bits of translation. My native language is Italian, so English into Italian and occasionally Italian into English, proofreading both in Italian and in English, all for academic papers. So that's now going on seven, eight years. I've been a copy editor with Jode for a, about a year and a half. Well, actually it's coming up it's coming up on two academic years, so about a year and a half. I started when I first began my PhD program, and this is the first copy editor position that I've held. 